Well, we are now two years into the COVID-19 pandemic and still millions of Americans are feeling the effects after catching the virus. According to a study from UC Davis, one in four COVID patients develop long haul symptoms that last for months, but the motivation behind a new bill could give new life to those suffering. WCNC Charlotte's Brianna Harper shows us how a local mom played a role in making this proposal a possibility. A first glance at Megan Carmelani, and you'd never guess her backstory. As a child, she says she contracted mono twice and was left with post viral syndrome, a condition she's been living with for the past 30 years. And then once COVID-19 came around, she noticed others just like her. I started posting on my Facebook page about my own symptoms. And then within a couple weeks, I started having friends email me and friends of friends email me saying they had these weird symptoms. All folks with long COVID, and here at WCNC Charlotte, we've shared the stories of many of them. As a result of COVID, I have to wear oxygen 24 hours a day. Cognitive memory, re teaching myself how to rethink, remember, and relearn. We're told in some cases, the effects of long COVID are so severe, it may even impact everyday life and someone's livelihood, which is why Carmelani decided to create a nonprofit organization for long COVID families. This is going to be a national problem and um, we need to do everything we can. And that was enough to catch the attention of U.S. Senator Tim McCain, who has long COVID himself. Together, they worked to create the Care for Long COVID Act, a bill that would first set up a structure to catalog the many symptoms of long COVID, and then start research to help educate patients and healthcare providers. It's going to, I think, be revolutionary for care. Um, so that when people go to the doctor, they're no longer faced with like blank stares of I don't know how to help you. But more than anything, Carmelani hopes people will help themselves first by doing their best to stay healthy. If you get COVID, there's still a chance you can get long COVID. Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte.